Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please give the video and the reading a like if you enjoy it. Um, we're going to take a look at your weekend love reading, see what messages come out for you. Uh, personal reading link is in the description box below the video. This is going to be a short but sweet reading. So let's just get straight into the reading. Let your friends help you wedding and the situation involves marriage and one more for virgo give you a whole bunch I'll try one more time let's see okay codependency okay with make the effort okay that's pretty good at least there's that okay let your friends help you okay so you've got a situation starting at the beginning of the weekend asking for and accepting support from others so you've got somebody here who is leaning on their support group leaning on their friends to help them with a situation let's take a look and see reaching out to some other people heavily okay so it could be a gemini or another virgo there is someone here who is tremendously restless they are not at peace right now when it comes to love or oh sorry i can't see it when it comes to love or their feelings for you all right i'm just going to tell you that there's someone who is like really into you very smitten with you and i feel like they might be asking their friends i mean what are we in high school <laughs> i feel like someone here is asking their friends um about you or what they i mean maybe asking for some advice in regards to you or about you or about the relationship or if you're seeing anyone or if you're single <clears throat> um, with this magician energy like I said it's a mercury ruled so it could represent um, Gemini or another Virgo so there is an energy here this person um, very focused could be um, let's see I mean like somebody is at a podium i feel like somebody might be at a podium or they're a performer um of in some way but even with that four of swords i just get a sense that some someone is not at peace at this time just ready to act somebody is like in a rush they're in a hurry and i feel like over the weekend they're like, like consoling their friends not consoling so much as like asking for a relationship advice or a tip or like asking for support how to approach you what to do um what they should do about how they feel should they ask you out like, like i'm also hearing like but this eight of wands this is someone like cupid's arrows like they are in such a hurry like it's i feel like almost like their friends even might be saying like calm down like relax like slow your roll there's somebody here who's just in such a rush in such a like a quick such a rush wow could be a king of wands look at that could be an air a fire sign like such a rush rushing towards you really wants to come towards you um wow justice libra and energy knight of wands here um possibly even apologize or heal a relationship someone is in a hurry over this weekend here even to possibly apologize recover a relationship um get back up on the horse from some kind of heartbreak situation heal something uh, i really feel like virgo whoever this person is to you you might know them you might not but th there is just know that somebody's heading your way they are heading your way to try to f try to just like be in your presence like they're in a, you might not even know it <laughs> you might not even know it you might get a message or communication over this weekend you're going to hear from someone this could be someone that you already connected to like i said it could be a libra as well fire sign doesn't have to be but this person is like in a rush i'm telling you they can't i'm, I'm hearing they can't stand it they can't uh, they have to get in contact with you they have to like try to recoup recover talking to their friends asking them for advice or what they should do okay now you also have weddings you might be attending a wedding over the weekend but there is something here a situation or a relationship that involves marriage so you know for some of you this person i do feel like it's kind of segueing into this this situation involves a marriage or a long-term commitment 
I'm telling you guys, this reading is going to be really, really short. My, my, <laughs> my middle son had COVID um, all week and I had been around him all week and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got the worst headache. So I'm hoping that I don't get it again. Oh my gosh. So please, uh, prayers and good thoughts my way. Um, for this weekend because I can already feel something going on here. So um, please forgive me if I make it super, super short tonight. I was debating not doing it, but then I thought, no, I'll just give you guys something. So I hope you can understand something. I don't even know what's going on. I know I shouldn't even say that word, but you know what? I don't give a shit. It is what it is. We're used to it now at this point. So there is something here that <laughs> I don't know if this person's like asking their friends, should I propose? Like, even with the Knight of Swords, there is this lifestyle change, you know? And with, with, with justice, it's like doing the right thing. Truth coming out, very passionate about you. Yeah, for some of you, you might get that proposal or that offer or that, like, come on, let's do this. I, like, I want to do this. Their friends might be advising them, you know, just look, if you want to be with Virgo, like, just do it. Just do it. But, like, don't. I don't know if they're telling them to just like calm down and relax for a second. Just like take a deep breath. But let's see. Let's see, Virgo. Oh, look at that. The fool taking a huge risk. New adventure. I feel like this person has, this has been on their mind. They have weighed the options. They are looking towards a future with you for sure. Reconciliation. They have clarity of purpose. They know what they need to do. Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy here. My gosh, Virgo, stepping out, acting a fool. They don't even care. They know what they need to do. Get, getting stable here, for sure. I feel like this person might have had, might have been on like an emotional roller coaster. Made the decision already, making plans coming your way. I feel like this person might have been on an emotional roller coaster, the very up and down, in hot and cold energy really balancing things out and looking out on the horizon maybe even hoping that you will reach out to them or hoping that you will be able to see a future with them the way they see looking looking out into the future with you coming clean big revelation here with this person i feel like this person seriously like i don't know it's I don't know what your situation is with this person, Virgo, but it seriously feels like this person's opening up and coming clean and is just laying it, like they're taking a huge risk, laying it all out, and they don't even care. You know, so much so that they are going to their friends and, and are going to other people and asking them, talking to their friends, maybe not even asking, but just talking to their friends or telling their friends what they're about to do. Or what they're going to do now for some of you this may occur over the weekend it could happen throughout the rest of the week but look at this ten of cups I mean this person wants to be with you like they want you by their side for the rest of their life so they're gonna definitely make some kind of move now look there's also codependency and making the effort I just feel like this person I don't know if they're addicted to you um, but no matter what like they see you as their other half like <laughs> They're like, they're making some huge efforts, uh, almost like they can't live without you. That's, that's the energy. That's the energy. Okay. That makes perfect sense because there's the eight of swords. I mean, this person is like nothing without you. That's how I feel that, that, that they feel like they feel completely trapped. They feel completely lost without you. They can't move. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't sing, I can't live without you, can't cry, can't laugh, can't do, finding it hard to do anything, you know, I feel sad when you're sad, oh my god, where did that come from, what happened to my light, that's a sign, my light just died, holy, holy, oh my gosh, Okay, that's a sign. My light just went out. The light went out. The light's gone out on this person. Sorry if it's like not very bright. So the light's gone out on this person without you around. That is 100% sure. Their life, they feel like they are nothing without you. They feel trapped. They have no hope on their own without you being there, like unable to move on. Um, 
they can't escape. They they just they just trapped in their thoughts. Okay, wow, this person's like in a bad way without you. Look at that, the star. You are you are my only hope, Obi Wan. <laughs> you like they really. You're like a shining angel, shining light to them. Oh my gosh, they are so sad without you. Th this is what's driving this person. Uh, seriously. I mean, is it love? Where the hell's the lovers? I mean, the Ten of Cups is here. I, I mean, if this... <laughs> I feel like love is involved. Absolutely. You know, you've got Cupid's arrows. But I feel like it's even more than this. I mean, like, this person just views you as like their other half. I mean, there's so much sadness here. They're, they're in grief. There's a lot of regret and remorse. And I feel like this person is trying to recoup, trying to bring this relationship back. Look at them. So much reflection. They're all by themselves, alone. They're lost. Just me, myself, and I. That's all I feel like this person's got going on right now. I mean, yeah, they might have other people around them, but they're pretty much in loner mode here. And with, with you being the star in their dreams or the star in their life it's just them and you're lighting the way with that star right there in that lantern that's just them and and there's the lovers okay that's the answer to the question so yeah virgo i mean virgo energy again with the aquarius you know whoever your person is it's energies or signs you know who you if this resonates for you but i like i feel like this person this is like a twin flame connection if you guys are in separation for sure, if you haven't met this person, they, you know, and you guys come together over this weekend and then, you know, nothing really comes of it or something happens where you guys meet, this person feels it almost instantly. If you um, know this person and you are in separation with this person, like all I can say is no matter what the situation is, they're feeling it. They are feeling it, especially over this weekend. And I just want you to know also, tonight, I believe it's tonight or Friday evening, is the super full moon. And it's in Aries. And like I said yesterday, the super full moon in Aries is a heavy duty energy. Aries is a go getter energy. Okay? And the moon is all about those hidden dreams and emotions we're going to take a look it's all about those illusions those dreams those hidden feelings and and aries is all about going after those wishes and those dreams and those hidden those emotions and and bring okay emotions are running high super moon emotions are running high this is it this person's emotions are on full blast over this weekend and it, it's like I just see them scrambling I just see this person scrambling to get get with you be with you get some, get it together with you <laughs> work some either work something out be back in your energy I just feel like this person feels lost without you you know I do and then we also have okay so it's a full moon in Aries so a fiery climax approaches with a super moon emotions running high so um Virgo maybe you have a connection to an Aries that's really going to be powerful with um an Aries energy but I don't know I don't know what are you gonna do Virgo <laughs> like what are you gonna do I mean, the full moon says surrender to the divine. So the full moon energy is basically saying, you know, what will be will be. The way the energy is meant to be is the way it's meant to be. Let me just read the super moon energy card for you because I feel like you might want to know that. I wasn't intending to do this tonight. I was going to make a video tomorrow, but with the way my head is playing out tonight, I think... Um, that's not going to happen. I'll be all nickeled up. Okay. The super moon suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking 
is writ large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question, if you have one, may well be that it's under your nose. The super full moon is about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day. So take action. Attune to the moon. Success is close. Just trust. Okay. So a resolution is closer than you think. Don't ignore the obvious. Something exciting is lying ahead. Make sure you don't blow events out of proportion. Speak to the gods. Ask for assistance. And this is where the moon is at its closest point to the earth. It's known as the perigree. This moon is known as the queen of emotions. And if you draw the supermoon card, which we have... You can expect your feelings to be more highly charged. And it's crazy because this page right here that I'm reading from is page 111. This is a twin flame thing. This is 100%. Your twin flame is 100% tuned into you right over this weekend, starting with this super moon. Um, Virgo, I am just going to leave that there and let you take that this weekend. Like, so let me just tell you, this is the beginning of the transit of this energy is starting. Okay. If you don't hear from your person or you don't connect with a twin flame, if you, if you don't know who they are, um, just so you know, once it's plugged in, the energy now is on. And it is lit. And that doesn't mean, what it means is that now that we have it plugged in, now the energy is going to start fusing through your love life, okay? And that, what I'm picking up this message here is that we've plug, we're plugging in this weekend. So it, maybe it'll play out throughout the rest of the week. But just so you know, somebody's coming in. This super, this super full moon is flipping the switch on. In the twin flame connection okay not the karmic not the bad one either in the one that you're in separation with or the the new one that's coming in okay so keep that in the back of your mind save this video watch it again over the weekend if you need a reminder i'm gonna leave that there hope you guys have a great weekend and i will see you all back here hopefully on sunday if not i'll post in the community tab and let you know when i'll be back all right take care bye